In this video, we're going to discuss function composition and some domain issues related with function composition. So I've got two functions here. I'm going to use x squared for f and square root of x plus 2 for g. So first, let's just identify their domains. So the domain of x squared is all reals. The domain of g of x is that x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2. Now depending on the direction we compose these, we might have different domain issues we have to think about. So first let's do g of f of x. Now we know for f that the domain is all reals, but we're going to need to check the domain of the composition of the two to be sure that it remains all reals because it might not. So that means I'm putting in x squared as my input into g. So g of x squared. And putting the x squared in for x give me, gives me square root of x squared plus 2. Now, we need to think about the range of f. Because f was x squared, its range was all y values greater than or equal to 0. The range of f is encompassed by the domain of g. So that means the domain of f is plenty for the domain of our composition. Because we know we're not going to get anything smaller than 0 out from f, so we're not going to be putting anything smaller than 0 in for, to g, which is OK. So our domain here is going to be all reals. We can also see it by checking the function. Since x will always be positive, adding 2, we're still going to be able to take its square root. Let's reverse the order. f of g of x. So now we're putting g of x, which is square root of x plus 2, into f. So basically we're squaring it. So square root of x plus 2 squared, which equals x plus 2. Now we know the function x plus 2 has a domain of all reals. But we're doing a composition. So this does not work for our composition. Because what happens in a composition is x has to go into g first and then into f. So while this function doesn't have any uh, domain restrictions, the composition does. So our domain is going to have to actually be the domain that it was for, for g, which is x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So there's some things we have to consider when looking at domain of compositions. We really need to pay attention to what our inside function, what the domain of our inside function is, and the range of our inside function. And that'll help us figure out what the domain of our composition is.